push any buttons. But. You can look. Did you take pictures of the Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship. Today is the 11th Sunday after Pentecost. Welcome also to those joining us online this morning. With just a few announcements before we worship together. Um, as we start August, we start to turn the corner and start to think about fall already. Um, so first thing on the schedule, we have a Bible study that will be starting on Wednesdays. Um, this first one is a six-week study. The book is called Everywhere is Jerusalem. Um, it's a book about um, spiritual pilgrimage to so we'll be looking at places in the Holy Land and other holy places, but also trying to connect that to our own lives. Um, the book is $12. There's a sign-up sheet now on the bulletin board by my office. Um, starts Wednesday, September 4th at 1 o'clock. Please sign up if you're interested in that. Confirmation will start also that week. Um, any youth, 6th grade or older, are invited to participate in confirmation classes. Um, our kickoff meeting will be at the first week of September. Um, if you or someone you know is in confirmation, please let me know by August 15th. Our worship committee will meet two weeks from today after worship on August 18th. Um, and we'll look ahead also at the services for the coming fall months. 
September 8th, we're going to have a, decided to just call it Celebration Sunday. We're going to celebrate the start of the new school year with a blessing of backpacks and devices. So any of those tablets, laptops, anything that um, students use, we'll be blessing those. We'll also be celebrating God's work, our hands. That's an ELCA-wide thing. Um, we're going to celebrate God's work, our hands, by packing and counting some diapers. Um, so in preparation for that, this month of August, we're invited to either give a monetary donation or a donation of diapers and wipes um, so we can stock up and be ready to go so we can all count and package and sort those and restock our shelves in the diaper pantry. And also coming up is our annual Attic Angel Sale. The dates for that are September 12th and 13th. Um, I've been made aware there are lots and lots of treasures downstairs, so thank you to those who brought items in. Um, early sale is open now, so if you want to go down and look around and if something catches your eye, um, you're welcome to purchase that. Noreen Stecker will gladly collect any donations um, if you see something that you're interested in purchasing from downstairs. <coughs> Many of you know we, um, my family passed COVID around a couple of weeks ago, followed by sinus infections. Thank you to those who've asked um, how we're doing. We're all on the mend um, at the tail end of all our sickness. Um, hopefully we're we're all well again. And finally, for worship this morning, three of us are wearing orange shirts. Um, as many of you know, we've um, had a national ELCA youth gathering a couple of weeks ago. Um, this morning, Lexi and Zach will be sharing uh, during the sermon time some of their experiences with us. Um, much of the worship service, at least the spoken parts of the worship service, come from the closing service um, that we celebrated together a couple of weeks ago um, as a way of connecting um, with that experience. With that, I'd like you to stand if you are able to begin worship with a responsive call to worship. People of God, this is the day that the Lord has made. Thanks be to God. You are created in the image of God. You are created to be brave. You are created to be you are created to be authentic. You are created to be free to serve others. You are created to be disruptive at tables where injustice is revealed. You are created to be disciples who follow Jesus. People of God, welcome to worship. We continue with by confessing our sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Holy God, you gather us together as your people. We are created to be brave in the face of our fears. Yes. Help us, remind us of your mercy, hear our broken words. From the days we are afraid to show up, from the days we are afraid to speak up, for the days we are afraid to welcome someone others have ignored. For the, us. For the times we are afraid to tell our own story or listen to someone else care to tell theirs. For us. For the times we are afraid to be honest. For us. For the times when we are afraid to challenge what is accepted. For us. For the times we are afraid to follow you. For us. Dear friends, God created you to be loved, to tell the truth, to be free to live the fullness of this life God offers to you. By God's grace, you have been saved from every broken promise, every assumption of privilege, every ignored invitation. In the name of Jesus, your sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen.
Lord God, you remind us that we are not alone in this world. You search us and know us. You invite us to remember that you see us and love us and call us by name. You are our life and salvation. Why should we be afraid? You invite us to let our light shine and to use our freedom in you as an opportunity to serve others. You remind us of your example of turning over tables by getting in the way of injustice, oppression, and pain. Create us to be all that you desire for the world, that we might follow in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord.
and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are our own light. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful, and I know it well.
options when I got there. So we went to LASPCA, which is like the animal shelter in New Orleans. And I got to clean animal cages, but I started with the cats and I had an allergic reaction. <laughs> so I got to move to the dogs' cages, which were honestly a little bit easier to clean. And I was really fun because I got to walk the dogs. And that's Finn. They didn't have a name for him, but they changed it to Falcor and he's up for adoption now. And then the cat's name was Icy, and she was like the sweetest little cat, just getting her cage clean. And then the first gathering of the next like night at the gathering was just really good because the people they spoke and they showed us like what it was to be authentic and be truly ourselves. So then for my part of the uh, uh, the day for the authentic me, what I did was do something completely different. She was dealing with dogs and stuff. Meanwhile, they gave me a shovel and I was scooping gravel into the wheelbarrow. I was taking it to these kennels and we were dumping it, trying to level out these kennels. So it was kind of actually quite the task. And especially thinking that they were going to do it originally until we came to help them out. You know, that's what was crazy to me is that I don't know how they would have had time for this. It's one of those things where they only had so many staff and they had thousands of animals there. It was insane how big the complex was. I might have only seen like 30 yards of it as like from me to the gravel to the cage, but I just know how huge the complex was and how many animals that I saw that day. It was, it was a lot. And through that though, which was really neat, was I was kind of separated from the rest of the group. Like most of the group was indoors doing that stuff. And I kind of just met random people. I didn't know who they were, but the moment that we got like put in these groups, one of the dads, he was just on it, you know, we were working hard. It was kind of crazy to see that. I've never seen such, I don't say dedication or something, that we just had no clue what we were doing. We just picked up some shovels, started going at it. And I just thought that was really cool. It was one of those ways that I, I kind of like saw Jesus I feel like through that trip was through the, uh, just all the, all the teamwork and all the people, the coordination. It just came out of nowhere, you know, it was, it was a great time. I, I enjoyed it a lot.
any game of oh, cornhole. There was a cornhole matchup that we had, and Zach came out the winner. So, <laughs> um, it was really cool, just like there was so much stuff to do there. And along with that, there were like booths of different like organizations that you could donate to. So one of the pictures up there is the five of us at a place called The Dwelling, which was run by one of the churches from one of the people that was speaking. And so basically what it was was a trailer that they had outside their church, and they use it for showers. So people who either don't have access to a shower or don't have somewhere to sleep can take a shower in a facility that has the supplies that they need. So that was our little photo shoot. We all dressed up as like soap and shampoo, and we just took pictures. And then we went shopping. Pastor Ken decided we could go out into the city after we went to the community life. So we got, we got raising canes, and then we went to the mall where we got friendship bracelets, and we all got nose rings, but they were fake. They were fake nose rings. <laughs> Um, but we had fun there, and then that picture in the top corner is one of our, we took a bathroom break, and that was the, like, park ranger. They had a, like, facility there, so it was really cool, like, the building behind it. And then we did the gathering that night, and that was one of the nights where we just really felt like everybody came together, and I was like, everyone was being disruptive. It was really good. So the, uh, the final day was the created to be disciples. So with that, it was basically the closing day of the gathering. It was about like, I think it was about around 12. We actually, actually might have left on that time, but we all got together for like the last gathering. And as you can see, that photo right there was actually from the uh, prior day with our region. So that was basically the uh, our little chunk of Michigan region, which is pretty neat, a lot of people there. And, uh, but yeah, so with the closing gathering, it was really neat because we were all, as, although some people did leave early, but it's understandable, it's quite the hike to get to New Orleans from some places. But uh, it was really neat because everybody was still there, you know, the energy was still in that building. And the fact that we were supposed to be disciples just is shown through that, you know, not only were, was it was the last day, but they were all excited to kind of spread that, you know. What we did throughout that whole week kind of demonstrated why we. We are created to be disciples, you know. It was shown that through our helping the community, through doing all that stuff, we're going out in the world, spreading the word, you know, all that stuff. And it's, we're all doing it willingly, you know, just out of, like, volunteering, you know, it's all that stuff. It's just kind of great to see, you know. The community thanked us, too. Not only were we excited to be there, but people on the streets, they would come up to us and just say, thank you guys for being here, you know, which was amazing, I thought. Like, they were just generally nice people there. It was, it was great to see, because... I don't know, some people obviously could be wearing the most welcoming, but that was really rare. It was honestly, it was all just really nice people that were thanking us for helping out the community, and I thought that was great, especially on the last day, too. And some people are sad to see us leave, you know, it's, I get it, you know, we're pretty cool, so it makes sense. We did, like, it was a lot of fun, so I was sad to be honest. It was a good time. But then for traveling home, we did have quite the late flight, but that's okay, though, because originally it was supposed to be just, we have our connection flight, but that got delayed, you know travel is and stuff like that. But it was a great time though. Still through that, we kept optimistic. We ate good food too. We had, we had that photo right there. I think, was that from the donut place? Or no? We'll say it was in front of the donut place because there's this donut shop we went to in the last day. It was really good. Really good donuts. I'm just getting that out there. It was great. Uh, but yeah, it was, and then on our way home too, like I said, it was, and we might have got there late, but when the group ended up splitting up, you know, it's just kind of sad to see. So we had that whole week of just spending time together, getting to know each other, and now we're just leaving and being disciples. So, yeah. So some of you guys might know, one of Zach and I's really important things while we were there was to try new food. So these are just some pictures of some of the options that we had. So we got some beignets. Which my personal favorite over the Cafe du Monde was. Yeah, I could agree with that too. Cafe du Monde was better. I was good at it. But some people would fight us and say Cafe Vignet. So um, that's Libby, and she was one of the girls from Pilgrim. And then me and Allison and Zach were all like our Vignet. And then the food you see in the top corner, that's from our jazz tour. And we had crawfish, cornbread, jambalaya red beans and rice, and bread pudding. And that bread pudding was probably the best bread pudding I've ever had. And it was just from like a boat. So I don't know how it was so good. 
And then uh, one of our stops we had been able to raise some canes, you know, so we checked that out. And a lot of people in the group hadn't had it before. I've had it a couple times, but still it was just as good as every other time I've had it. And it was amazing. We had to take a photo, and you have to take a photo of raising canes. This is what you gotta do. And so that was, little, that was a neat thing. And not only that, we went to this taco place, probably the greatest food I've had in a long time. It was amazing. I, it was a popping joint too. It was like the most fun place I've been to for food. I, the thing about New Orleans is I noticed is that there's like a set value for all music and that's blasting and it's amazing because when I'm walking by and I'm going to these different restaurants and we're just jamming, we're having a good time and it, we're eating food and that's a good time and food are like my two favorite things so it just, it worked out real well at that place and it was just a really like fancy joint too but the tacos are so good. I think those are Lexi's brisket tacos she had which are really nice but I had the talk tacos, would recommend, amazing. We ended up switching to tacos so we could both try it, so it worked out. And then I believe on that, what was the, uh, that's the barbecue. oh, that's the barbecue place. So yeah, the far left one would be the barbecue place we had from the first day. I had ribs and like, uh, and what else I think I had, pretzel they had there, which were really good, Cajun ribs, would recommend. Uh, what did you have in was it? That's, so mine's salmon and some little like salad thing and mac and cheese. So that's good. it was very good. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing about the taco place, too, I'll just get that out there, was that it probably had the most, like, it was extravagant. It was the most, and, like, even the bathroom was amazing. It was, it's like granite, like, massive piece. I was in awe. I, I didn't think the trip could be any better after that, but it did. It got really good, okay? I'll say it, it was on just a straight, you know, it was, it was our, like, we got a little peak, peak right there, I'd like to say. It was amazing. But yes, I just had to get that one out there. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you guys. <laughs>
we confess our faith, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the living. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
every good gift come from your open hand. Use us in what we have gathered in feeding the world with your love. And the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and grace. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, Almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the host of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. <laughs>
we who serve others sometimes are held back. So make us free. We who trouble the systems of this world as it is invite anger. Now send us out, created to be your disciples in the world, that we may tell the story of your love. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen.